All right. How do should I? I need to take all of these off first, right? Like I can't start with it here, can I? <laughs> all right, hold on. That's more manageable. What's up? My name is Mike Falabi. I'm a freelance creative director, giving people tools to better tell their stories. And for this video, we have a Amazon Prime unboxing. My wife and I found um, an Amazon gift card that we got from like our wedding or something that we didn't realize we had. And it had some money on there. And it was Amazon Prime Day days. So I was like, hey, we might as well use it for a video. So that's what, that's what we're doing. Have a bunch of stuff. Some of it's not from Amazon, uh, but most of it is. But uh, what one, which one should I start with? This guy here? Yeah. All right, cool. So this is a mini fridge. It's kind of tech. Is, are we, call it, are we consider, considering that tech, a mini fridge? I mean, I feel like it's, I'm gonna cut myself with this thing. My favorite thing is to have a bunch of like weird waters. Like that's a weird sentence to say. But like we have liquid death, we have like black waters in here, which freaks people out a lot. Um, but we never had a fridge for it, and now we do. All right, let's go with this one. Oh, this one doesn't need anything. What do we have here? We have the Falcam quick release system. I saw a couple of people making videos on this. It's based, oh, it comes with two. I didn't know that. The Falcam F38 quick release system has a low profile plate that screws onto your camera and a base plate that threads onto a tripod or stand or anything with a quarter 20 or three eighths thread. It has an auto locking feature with a redundant lock to make sure that your gear isn't going anywhere. This is, what is this? Long lens rail? This is a lens support. You put this at the front of your system or your camera if you have like a heavier lens in the front. This 15 milliliter lens support bracket from Nicey Rigs is super clutch for these heavy lenses that you add to the front of your cameras, whether it's a cinema lens or just a longer lens that you don't want to put too much stress on your mount. Uh, let's see what this is here. This is like Christmas day, I swear. Oh, this, was, this is like super nerdy tech, but this is a smart uh, power strip where like all of them are controllable from like an app. So I can come in here and like press one button on my phone and turn on whatever I want to turn on, which is dope. Super random, but it was like pretty good discount. Um, so it's like, if it's worth it, then we can outfit the whole studio in these. But like, yeah, being able to turn my monitors and my everything off at the same time, that's dope. I'm gonna turn this light off behind me. It's super distracting. Is that better? Yeah. Yeah. Top film, what is it called? iHome Flow Smart Strip. Wi-Fi surge protector. Let's try it out. All right, which one next? We got a bunch of, should I do these small icon joints real quick? Yeah, All right, so these are not Amazon packages. These are actually, hilariously enough, packages that I've had for like five years and never opened. Um, they are Icon AI Small Stars. It's actually pretty cool because they are a collectible that kind of started the wave of NFTs. Um, he, I, I'll, I gotta find the guy's name, but there's this artist who um, actually made the, he designed the Sharks logo, the San Jose Sharks logo. He went into the um, vinyl toy game and combined them with a, I don't know if it was like a digital NFT type of thing, but basically a way to certify that it was yours that it was real, authenticated, and you can trade them, and this and that. Um, and I have one, two, three, four, five of six, of six of them, and I'll give one of them away. At what, 300 subscribers I'll give one away? Um, this is the, and this is gonna show its age, the <laughs> uh, Cleveland Cavaliers LeBron James one. Let's open this one. Juan, do you like, I know you're a Lakers fan because, I don't know if you're a Lakers fan because of Braun, um, or if you're like a diehard Lakers fan, is this something that like appeals to you? No. No? I don't, you have a smirk on your face. I don't know if I believe you. I have the, we have the Steph, oh my gosh, the Steph Curry one. <laughs> um, but I haven't seen the Braun one yet. And so this little metal thing is to protect the, you like scan the foot and that's where the, tech is. Um, I'll link him in the bio if they're still making them. 
I'm not sure if they are, but this is pretty cool. I don't know which one I'll give away, but it's not gonna be this one, obviously. So yeah, comment down below if you're interested in one of them. And um, yeah, 300, we'll give one of these guys away. Moving on. Ooh, I almost cut myself with this. There's one that I was looking for to open that I was hoping that I was gonna open it first so that I could, you see me butchering this like cut? Yeah. Amazon makes the easiest boxes to open and I'm using the most amount of force. There's one that I was looking for, oh, that's cool. Apple Watch was uh, like 140 bucks off, which is crazy. Um, my wedding anniversary is this Friday, so I took advantage of that. You're welcome, wifey. Moving on, this is what I was looking for. Multi-function super clamp mount. So I'm trying a, diff a couple different methods of how to have like a top-down shot. Um, I think it's cool when YouTubers have that like other angle, different perspective. So in theory, you get a C-stand, C-stand arm, you clamp this here, you put your very light <laughs> mirrorless camera set up right there and you dangle it down. I mean, in theory that works. I'm gonna have to come up with some type of safety mechanism to make sure it just doesn't fall off. But yeah, I'm gonna try that guy out here. One of the things from before, these are the uh, rods, the support rods for my FX6 rig, or and I guess any camera rig that you have. I believe they're aluminum. They had a carbon fiber version and a like titanium or something random, but I went for these guys. All of the links for these products will be in the description um, if you guys are interested. Some of the products will probably warrant like further review. Ooh, that was heavy. Some of them won't. Um, but if there's anything you guys want more information about, feel free to let me know. Moving on. Ooh, let's start with this. What is this? Black box. Small rig follow focus, mini follow focus for my ethic for any camera. Um, specifically for my FX6 when I'm using my anamorphic lens. The Small Rig Mini Follow Focus 3010 is a lightweight focus system designed for compact cinema cameras and mirrorless cameras. The system can be mounted to either side of the lens and features a very smooth focus wheel with adjustable A and B stops if you want to pre-mark your focus points. Uh, what else is in here? Desktop monitor stands. These are for my computer setup over there. My monitors right now are like hidden. My speaker monitors are hidden behind my studio display monitors, which is not ideal at all because you can't really hear anything. <laughs> they are height adjustable and have a safety pin to make sure that they don't fall. But one thing to keep in mind is that the minimum height is anywhere from 12 to 14 inches. So if you need something shorter than that, you might have to find a different one. We have, uh, is this a, yes, variable ND for my, a7 IV, my FX6 has built-in ND, my A7 IV does not. So that is for this, I believe it is, let me see how many stops it is. I don't remember, but I'll put it here when I find out how many stops it is. This 82 millimeter variable ND from k &F Concepts goes from one to nine stops of ND, which is perfect for most use cases. Eufy Cam, this video is not sponsored by Eufy, but I wish it was because they saved my life with that camera that I have. It is a 2K resolution um, security camera, or you can use it as a baby monitor or whatever. We have a couple of them in studio. They had a great sale, add some more. And, oh, they're one of the only ones that don't, I mean, they're not charging me, uh, but they're one of the only companies that I've found that you don't like right out the gate have to start paying for like storage of your, your um, footage and whatever you're storing. Um, so look into that, um, yeah. We have two more left, this guy and this big boy here. We'll save the big boy for last. This box is extremely light and humongous. What is Amazon's carbon footprint? Like they gotta be, they gotta be up there with some of the worst. <laughs> okay, all right, here we go. Me versus tape again. That's gotta be up there with like injuries, like Amazon, people opening Amazon boxes, like with the frequency that they, anyway. What the heck is this? <laughs> this is hilarious. Splatter screen for when you're, 
<laughs> when you're frying stuff and you don't want to get grease on you, you get the, the young splatter screen. So detailed review on this guy here coming soon. I know you guys are and eagerly anticipating that video. The piece de resistance. Do you know what that means, Wani? No idea. Neither do I. I don't speak French. C stands. One thing that I've realized after now having a studio, which I'm very grateful for, is the never ending need for C stands or like light stands or any type of stands. So I got these newer ones. We have, I don't know what brand these ones are. We have some got some, we have like a few C stands that we got from B and H that are like super legit. Love those. They are definitely on the pricier side. So I wanted to try out these newer ones. Newer is another one of those brands like Small Rig. Small Rig has a little bit better of a reputation, but newer's reputation is like, hey, it's not gonna be great, but it's gonna get the job done. So I'm interested to see how these guys perform in comparison to the like, the, a set of these was like 170 bucks or something like that. And like each of our C stands was probably like 200 bucks. So um, yeah, I'm interested to see, am I even gonna be able to open this thing right now? Two pieces, oh, it doesn't come with that little boom arm. That's not the end of the world. Um, let's see. Solid, they have a, oh, their air suspension. That our super expensive ones, or our more expensive ones, aren't air cushioned, but this is so that you don't like jam your finger. That's dope. It's actually very, very helpful. We got two of them. So now we won't have to be like using mic stands like we've been doing. Uh, strangely excited about these C stands. Like most of the stuff that I got, I don't need, but getting a couple pieces that I do. So, so yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all of those YouTube-y things, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.